Banished from the Heroes Party, I decided to leave a quiet life in the Countryside Volume 5 Review. Volume 4 of Banished from the Heroes Party, I decided to leave a quiet life in the Countryside, brought the series to what would have been, have been a suitable conclusion. However, rather than ending, the story goes on, and now with Volume 5 in hand, it's time to find out if that was the right decision or not. The story begins with Partagon as Red struggling the side of the perfect stone for his engagement ring for Rit. Leaving the town of Zoltan, there are a lot of options when it comes to precious gems and Red. As his heart is set in finding a sapphire to fight what he how and wants, Red will have to take a trip to the wall at the end of the world, where he can find more chance to deal with precious gems. So Red sets out on his trip with Rit, little sister Ruti, and dwarf friend Mogre and Bronzehead, and Tau. Mogre's wife is pregnant, and he's hoping to find a precious material of his own that he can make into a knife. In case he need to operate on her for any reason, Morgrim is also a skill fighter, so Red is more than happy to have him join them on the trip. Elsewhere, Hanyo Yarandarala arrives in town looking for Red and Rid, which is heard are living there. Since Red got thrown out of the hero's party way back at the beginning of the series, Yarandarala has been angry about their betrayal and looking to invite Red, Rid, and Ruti to live in their elf kingdom where they can no longer be heard by humans. In Sultan, she is run into an assassin Tise, who informs her to Red, and the others have gone on the trip. Unwilling to wait for the return, Yarandela sets off after death with a party of her own, but what an answer would she get when she finds and asks Red's crew to leave Zoltan behind? So, say to say that rather than start a new arc, this boy of the banished for her hero's party is fairly self contained. There are some hints and some bigger lurking in the shadows toward the end of the book, but otherwise, it's very focused on the trip for Red to get the software for the ring. Sometimes, I find myself complaining about series that waste their time and things not directly related to the plot. But since Volume 4 wrapped things up so neatly, the storyline ends up feeling like a natural extension of the epilogue. I also can deny that they have a soft spot for Red's relationship with Rit, so I'm happy to read about him going all out to make his wife to be happy. What am I less happy about in this volume is Ruti. TC has been worried about how Ruti will react to the news of her big brother getting married and when she takes the news well. TC worries about what that means. She presses Ruti for more information. And Ruthie reveals that she's happy with Red being Red's wife since it doesn't prevent her from also dating Red in the future. Frankly, I'm disappointed that authors upon lean into the sistership so hard. Given the series up until now, I managed to avoid it. There have always been hints that Ruthie held romantic feelings for Red, but since he's obvious to it and she hadn't outright said it until now, I was happy to gloss over those in the hopes not to ever come of it. Now I fear that it might not be the case after all, and honestly speaking, that makes the series a lot more difficult to recommend the people. Banished for the Heroes Party is inside the life of the quiet life in the countryside. Volume 5 comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and continues to be translated by Dale De Lucia. As usual, the trans translation reads well with no issues to note. Volume 6 of the series is scheduled for a release in June and looks set to kick off a new arc, judging by the synopsis. Overall, Volume 5 and Banished for the Heroes Party offers an enjoyable extension to the end of Volume 4. With an enjoyable, self contained story, unfortunately, it also leads into shipping Ruti with her brother which is sure to put up quite a few readers and see their time with the series count to an end, 7 over 10.